Dallas Stars are the favorite to beat the Edmonton Oilers in the Western Conference Final. According to FanDuel, Dallas 2-1 and one against Edmonton in the regular season. I should also mention, this is fascinating to me, your favorites to win the Conn Smythe Trophy on FanDuel right now, Jake Ottinger and Connor McDavid, both at 5-1 to one as Frankie Corrado joins me once again. So Connor McDavid... Uh, despite the fact that the Canucks, Frankie, were able to hold him off the score sheet three out of the seven games in that second round series, uh, is one of the favorites for the Conn Smythe Trophy. Hey, he's considered the best player in the world, but he's about to play a very stingy defensive team in the Dallas Stars. Chris Tanev likely matched up against them. More nightmares from the old Battle of Alberta days. But does McDavid have to get back to being McDavid in, in order for the Oilers to maybe make this a series? Big time, Jay. McDavid has to play like he's the best player on the planet, and we've seen flashes of that in the playoffs, but Leon Dreisaitl has been at his level, where he's, you know, top two, three best players in the world. McDavid has to play like he is the best player in the world. This Dallas team, they've come a long way defensively because of the addition of Chris Tanev, and they're a deep team, especially down the middle of the ice. They have four lines, three that I would say are really good scoring line. They have a fourth line that can buzz around and play with a lot of energy. But Connor McDavid, this is what the Edmonton Oilers always seem to come back to. They can overcompensate for certain things within that group, whether it's subpar goaltending at times, you know, a D pair that struggles at times, not getting production from lower in the lineup they can overcompensate for those things if Connor McDavid is the number one best player in the world so if they're going to beat the Dallas Stars and those things are going to happen in the background Connor McDavid absolutely has to play like he is the best player in the world you know and you you alluded to the depth that the Dallas Stars have we've been talking about it all year it's a four-line team but the Oilers you know they've proven in these first two rounds they have a lot more depth than they certainly used to have on those third and fourth lines so overall Frankie who do you think has the edge in this Western Conference final it, it should be close for, for me Dallas has the edge and you know it more comes down to the fact that Dallas is deep Dallas has some scoring lower in the lineup. Dallas has some matchups that I feel like they can win on the road because they can kind of roll players out there and not have to worry about getting exposed in certain situations. You know, I had an opportunity to call a Stars game earlier this year in Montreal. And some of the talk around that team at the time was offense comes really easily to that team, but they weren't defending at the level that they usually were used to. And Jake Ottinger wasn't playing particularly well. Mm -hmm. So the offense really carried the mail for the Dallas Stars at that point. But they've improved significantly defensively. Jake Ottinger's game has come a long way since that point in the season. And you wouldn't even know that the Dallas Stars were struggling at that point. Because, you know, you go on NHL.com, Jay. And every time you look at the last 10 games for the Dallas Stars at points in the season, it was like 7-3. and three. It was 8-2. and two. It was 6-4 and four at the worst. Like... They just went about their business very quietly, had a lot of success, and just kept getting better as the season went on. So for the fact that Dallas can put more players on the ice and not have to worry about the matchups, the goaltenders playing great defensively, they've come a long way. Like, I do give the edge to the Dallas Stars in this series. And uh, they'll also have home ice advantage, too. That series will begin in Dallas on Thursday night. Uh, the Rangers and Florida Panthers will kick off their series at Madison Square Garden on Wednesday evening. It'll be just the second meeting all time in the postseason between these two teams. Fast and physical are two of the two of the main main keys to our game. So, um, I mean, I think any any playoff series you look forward to physicality at some point. Um, so yeah, I would say it's it's going to be a fun, fast, physical series on on both sides. And the Panthers in the conference finals for the second straight season. Matthew Kachuk joined the. Pat McAfee show on TSN Tuesday to discuss the series against the Rangers. We're going into MSG and the Big Apple about to face the team that's the best team in the regular season and the best team in playoffs so far. So um, we are super excited for this challenge. It, the stage does not get any bigger than this. Um, and I'm just so looking forward to this. It's, it's an unbelievable opportunity. We're back in the Eastern Conference Finals again. And um, you know, hopefully we can do the same thing we did in the series last year, but it's going to be tough. The Rangers are playing unbelievable. They're so talented, and we're going to need everybody this round. 
High praise from Matthew Kachuk for an opponent. It seems like there's a catch to it somehow, Frankie Corrado. So who do you think comes out of this Eastern Conference final matchup that we've been anticipating for a while? Jay, go in your wallet and flip a coin because that, like, that's how tight this series should be. Like On paper, you do the head-to-head -head matchup, both teams have great goaltending. Both teams have really good defensemen who can play, you know, up-tempo style of games, puck-moving guys, physical guys. And then up front, like, there's a good blend of skill in the lineup. You have two really good matchup centermen in Trocek and Barkov that are going to go head-to-head. -head. You know, Matthew Kachuk is going to be a little bit of an X factor as far as what he brings to the table. For me, Jay, this series comes down to who's going to be more disciplined, who's going to control their emotions, and who's going to not lose the game within the game? That's going to be so important as this series rolls on. It's going to be physical. It's going to be fast-paced. It can be very easy in a series like this to get lost in it and get lost in that moment. So with all that being said, did you ask me for a pick in this series? Because I still feel like you could flip a coin. Like <laughs> The Florida Panthers were there last year. The New York Rangers, they're looking to get there. They've been the best team in the regular season. I would say maybe, Jake. On the slimmest, slimmest, slimmest of margins, the Florida Panthers, but it could go either way. Okay, so we'll see. If it's Florida and Dallas, uh, we're locking down those picks for Frankie.